A lot of shooters ask if nicer gear helps you shoot more accurately. As a new shooter has $5,000 budget, let's say, does he spend it all on one fancy $5,000 pistol or does he take that $5,000 and buy a base gun, ammo, and training? These are the questions we hope to answer in today's video. We're we'll also take a deep dive into the Atlas Gunworks Ares, which we'll talk about later on. We have a Prodigy and an Atlas. We're about to put them head to head. I'm Crispy, the RDR Gears videographer and editor. I've been working in the firearm space for nearly five years now. And although I've been around a lot of guns for a long time, I've shot fewer than 2000 rounds and I've never been to a firearms training. I'm the beginner and today I'm running the $6,500 Atlas Gunworks Ares. So today I'm gonna to run the Prodigy. We'll have a new shooter with a very high-end pistol and an intermediate shooter with a mid-tier pistol. Hopefully this test will answer some of the questions I asked you earlier. Chop. All right. Chopping flies over Chop. here. You can catch them in a chopstick. That's a mad skill. That's a compliment. What movie is that from? Karate Kid. You talk about it all the time. First target. Okay. Okay. All right. Number one. Up 15 top. rounds. You have a full mag of 15 in your gun. I see my gun. Slow fire, no time, whatever. Your goal is to get everything within this 10. Within the 10. Yep. Okay. okay. And Don't I, shoot. I'm shooting that from like right here? No. Back of that line, we're at 15 yards. Okay. This one will do some pairs. Two, 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 two. Okay, some two okay. tap. Yep, Sweet. right. This one will do left hand. Mm -hmm. This one will do right hand. Left hand and right hand. I can tell you for sure I've never shot one hand or left hand. Well, so you're gonna That's gonna be your first time, man. Yeah, and it's right in the dick. Yep, well, I didn't go there, but you did, so. Let's get into it. Let's Target number one. Target number one, 50 round slow fire. I only have one tripod, so we don't have the up close angle on the target, but we will address the target after the rounds have been shot. I can't even read the 10 from here. This is so far away. Your eyes are half as old as mine. You should be fine. Slow fire. Slow fire, the full magazine. 15 rounds? It's, shoot the gun till it's empty. Till it's empty. It's like a fancy canic. Oh. Big dog needs some ears. I thought I was the beginner. <laughs> Sounds like we set off a car alarm too. It's probably a Hyundai. Hyundai, not Highland Eye. Oh, it's Hyundai, by the way. That was low. Perfect. Reset, all right. Boom, boom. Damn, I could not find my dot right there. Truthfully, I can't see my hits that good. Okay, it's in. It did lock back. Okay, that's the other magazine. So the short magazine you have won't lock back. All right, so. I'm right. I'm far right on all of it. Is that you or is that the gun? That's probably me. I should train more. Let's go look at the target. All right, let's go. Now, I think you did pretty good, but. All right, Jeff, I did shoot a little faster than I probably should yeah. have, but let's go ahead and address this target. Where were you putting the dot when you shot the target? Mostly on the X. Okay. so. We have two things. I would say with the amount of rounds are going right, mm -hmm. that could be a zero thing because these aren't our guns. This was zeroed for somebody else, mm -hmm. right? Who shoots again all the time. So I would say if we shot this again, the same drill, we would run this target probably uh, three to four clicks left and okay. then shoot it again. Because I gotcha. you were here when you started. Yeah. Right? And then it went to here when you got fast. Yeah. So that could be grip, that could be zero. But with the amount of rounds that went right, I would say we would re zero and shoot again. I got you. Right. And truthfully, from my point of view, I do get a lot of dot wobble. I don't know if that's super serious, if that's normal. Um, but the dot does wobble about the width of yeah. this target. And I don't know if that's just my grip or if that's kind of just what running a red dot is because my personal guns don't have red dots on them. Sweet. Dude, look, there's a, go. there's a stink bug now, too. This big ass black beetle. Oh, damn. So, Black Beetles in the city, if you're really coming right, with next me. next one. I'll shoot the same drill Crispy did, but we'll be shooting it with the Prodigy, and I guess you could call me an intermediate to advanced shooter with a lesser pistol. So, let's shoot it. If you, if you wing one, you can just blame it on the flies. There you go. All right. I think you're gonna have to blame some on the flies. It's gonna be zero, so, <laughs> all right. All right, so this is zero. This was a hasty zero on the new Armour HD. These last three rounds, I held the dot here. I was holding here and everything grouped here. So those are just simply dot adjustment. Now, 
And that's not an excuse, but we're gonna do some things today too. We're gonna change a few zeros. So I'm gonna come up four and over three. And then when we shoot the other ones, you should see a difference. But that is simply me. So now when you look at group, let's go on group, not so much. Cause halfway through you started to chase the, the group. I was, I was starting to, I put the dot over here mm -hmm. to get these last five hits. Makes sense. So, all right. And so, but if you look at the overall group shape, very similar group sizes between the two targets, right? Mm -hmm. um, you did, you stacked yours tighter over here, minor or low left. Um, and again, that's probably, I could say gun, trigger, whatever, but the first run out, we're gonna do a zero adjustment and we're gonna shoot some different ones here and here and here. And let's see if we have some changes. Sweet, All right. and what was the next drill? This drill would we'll shoot pairs, controlled pairs. Okay. Right? So we're gonna shoot controlled pairs here and then we'll continue with the rest of them. Okay, cool, All right. let's do it. So we did a minor adjustment on your gun to push it left, and that should be your target marker. And you're gonna shoot one round, another round, one round, another round. And just shoot two, not like double taps, just pairs, one, two. Okay, like, one. So when you shoot, the dot settles, shoot again. Okay, yeah, I definitely thought this was more of a two tap, like ta-da! No, try to, it's, it's, it's for you to work on sight and trigger and grip. So if your grip is good, bang, bang, bang. It shouldn't have to bang, Bang, mm -hmm. bang, it should, as soon as it settles, you should be ready to go. I wanna go fast. You can go fast if you want, it, or shoot it however you want, as long as you shoot two bolts out of the gun at the same time. Fast as fuck. Fast as fuck, boy. I'm just kidding. Ricky right, Bobby. We'll do it your way. I totally lost the dot on that one. That's the whole point of this drill. See the dot every time. That was good, that felt good, like that one. That was way low left on one of them. It's, don't worry, don't talk to yourself, focus on the target. Oh. Don't worry about what you do wrong, just focus on. Oh, I missed the reset. Boom. Okay, this one's it. I wish we knew which bullets were the two. That, 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 that's the whole point. A couple the whole of focus this is there. the shooting portion. Don't worry about what the target looks like. Stop chasing the holes. You focus on that. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, yeah. For science. That, but that's where a lot of I new shooters, they focus, they shoot. Just shoot the drill, then go back. And that's the benefit of shooting drills more than one time. Like if we had more time, we would shoot the whole entire thing four times, the mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah. One magazine each. Yeah. We don't. But now let's go look at this target. Well, here's the thing is there was like, three where I threw the shit out of them, mm -hmm. and there was two where I was like, that was mint. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was awesome. You can and, tell. And if we were able to tell, there was some of them, and I think if we were like, these rounds were from group A, these rounds were from group C, and these rounds were from I group I can tell you D. by watching the target. I think there's some where I almost stacked them. Not like stacked them. You did? But like No, they're, they're there, I'll show you. Let's check them out. So this is where you kind of started, right? Yeah. And you were start talking going, to yourself. I knew they were going right. And then you, oh, that felt good. That's four rounds. So that was, I believe right here is, was five and six, uh -huh. right? The tail end. And then you got, it got a little sloppy again. You got a little faster, but for pairs, look at what this is. And if that, that's a concealed carry gun. So if you look right here, you put four rounds in that. Stacked them. I told you, yeah, I right? stacked them. And then it got a little bigger, but it's fast. It got a little bigger, it got faster, uh -huh. but that's not, nothing negative. This is just training. Right, yeah. but as for concealed carry gun, you literally have two rounds out. Uh huh. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. So tell me why, as a beginner shooter, I felt this one. I knew that a second as I pulled it, and I'm like, that because was the out dot of there. went that way. Well, the... no, 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 no. I know. I didn't feel this one. I felt this one. So to me, this one felt like it was here, and this one felt like it was here. This felt like it'd be a further throw than when that one went off. That's something you're gonna have to see, but like when you look at your dot, like I'll bet you, when you said, oh, those are money, uh -huh. because your dot went and came back and shot again. Yeah. These other ones, when you shot, you were sh the dot's coming down and you shot and you saw the dot over here. Mm -hmm. This one, you said, oh shit, I didn't see the dot. Yeah. But you still cranked the shots. Yeah, you're right. Right? But this one, you knew these were stacked because you said you saw the, the, the gun, your dot was here, gun went off, dot settled, you bet, because you can hear it. Yeah. It was bang, bang. Yeah. They were right on top of each other because the dot was already there. Sweet. So you know something- what YouTube comment this is gonna provoke? No. No I way, mean, no Oh, way. what would it? I They're don't... gonna say, no way he's got less than 2,000 rounds. 
I stacked them. Yeah, no, dude, it, it, <laughs> and that's something too, and that's, that's part of the comp, that's part of the trigger, that's part of the grip angle, that's all benefits of a 2011. Okay. Because if you got your Canic out here, that might be hard to do with a Canic, and it's harder to do with a Glock. Anything with a hinge trigger, mm -hmm. it sometimes gets harder. Yeah. So. Well, if a millennial like myself was able to own a house in this market, I would get a double mortgage to go pick up an Atlas right now. Well, you know, I mean, you could always do other OnlyFans stuff. Other. That implies that there's some well, existing it's kind of what stuff. you do now, so. I want to see you shoot this. I want to see you stack them, too. Oh, I, I don't know about you. that. First thing I'm noticing right now is your cadence is really consistent. Your split time is really similar to each shot. Yeah. Mine is all over the place. Yeah. So while the group is an important thing to go and note, in terms of the dot returning to center, there's a consistency that comes from your training and your experience. It, it's the dot as I shoot, dot there. So does it now, ever leave the window for you? Because no, it does for uh, me. Yeah, and that's just working on a dot gun, right? You have your canic, which is an irons gun, mm -hmm. right? So you don't, when you come out, dude, I'll, I'll tell you at home, you shoot a dot gun very well. Mm -hmm. You just have other interests that don't lead you to the path of upgrading your guns. Yeah, it's you know? true. It's true, man. I want to be the car guy. I want to be the camera guy. I want to be the forerunner guy. There's a lot of expensive shit. Let's check them out. You got this fancy green in the background that I don't got. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, we threw one line breaker here, um, but again, that's just zero. We're a little, we fixed, I did a zero adjustment earlier. I could probably come up just a smidge more, right? To where I'm putting dot here and I'm still getting low. But for controlled pairs, we got probably one, two, maybe four right there in the X. Um, these were just, again, for me, that's more, I think, of as a dot's coming down, I'm smashing on the down versus letting the dot settle and breaking that shot. I'm not on the trigger. Shot breaks, reset. I'm already on the wall. The shot breaks again. Okay. And that's where I think helps, right? Yeah. Because as you, if we show it, so shot breaks, gun goes off. I'm out. I'm already here on the wall again as the gun settles. Yeah. And that's something I think can help, but that's where that works. But again, you know, let's, let's that's, it, for the Prodigy, I'm pretty happy for that, you know, considering the cadence was good yeah. and the pace is good, so. Well, and let, let's address something real quick too, because there's two types of people watching this video right now. There is the shooter and there might be the beginner. Right? Oh, for sure, 100%. The beginner is gonna look at this and be like, well, their groups are pretty similar. Their groups are yeah. about the same. Mm -hmm. But what they need to go back and rewatch real quick is the cadence at which those shots yeah. were fired and look at how you were finding that wall before you were breaking yeah. a shot. And that's because, something, uh, 100%. You know, if we were on a shot timer, we'd be able to score this a little bit more yeah. and then be like, guys, like the, the advanced shooter really did win here mm -hmm. because we can't look at just the group alone, you know? Yeah. So anyone that says that, they should go back and rewatch. Oh. Oh. So, all right, yeah. let's shoot the next one. We're gonna shoot this one right-handed, uh -huh. 10 rounds, left hand, 10 rounds. From 75 yards? No, the same distance, fool. Okay. <laughs> fool, fool, he fool. really did just fool. spend a weekend in Miami. Foo? <laughs> What's for lunch today? You said pho. I kind of want pho, but you don't like pho. I'm down to try the pho. Let me tell you something. So here's one unique perspective I have from fighting these guys and being around guns, but not often shooting them, right? Uh -huh. A beginner shooter, which you'll see in most cases, will probably straight arm the fuck out of the, the one hand, yeah. right? But because I've been around guns, I know that you need to you need to take it back a little bit and cant it, right? So there's that elbow. I would say no to the cant. You'd say no to the cant. Yeah. Okay. All because right. Because watch. Take, so put the gun in your left hand. Left hand. All right. So now put the gun down just so it's, we're safe. But put your right arm out again, like you did that before. So if you cant that gun, and you go that way, recoil is going to take the path least resistance. Uh huh. So I would say number one, you're shooting this way to start, right? Both hands. Mm hmm. Switch your feet. Now, shoot the gun straight, but look at my arm. Yeah. Right? So now the gun stays here. Okay. So I'm not out here because it wants to go this way. All so right. try whatever works for you. I'm going to cut that from the video because mm -hmm. I thought one hand you're supposed to shoot mm -hmm. canted. No, canted. I'm trying it, to think it, where I heard that. If just it was... go like this. Yeah. All the, some dudes will try to, they, they have really strong hands that will try to cant it, but 
Now, also, you have to find what works for you left-handed. Yeah. So right. try whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, let's get into the one hand, right hand only. 10 rounds, Ten whatever rounds cadence. 10 rounds, a third target down. And shooting for a group. You're shooting the slow fire, the best group you can get as long as it takes you to shoot that. Okay, so No time frame. And I, I brought a plastic bag of about 2,000 flies this morning just to make this a little oh. more interesting for YouTube. Well, um, if we you are wear that Abercrombie insects. freaking, what's, what flavor ax are you wearing today? I ain't got no ax, dude, but that chocolate ax did slap back in the day. That chocolate ax was the jam. All right, let's shoot some, not people, but targets. Holy shit, I'm like, wah! All right, all right, let's That's go. Thor the Wobble. You have to prep that trigger. Take your time, find that easy press. Pretty dude, well done. Couple wobbles. Yes. Right? So shooting one handed, you gotta trust the wobble, but that's where that shot breaks, right? So if you would, so go ahead and, that gun's empty, right? Yeah. So go ahead and shoot around, pull the trigger one time, and hold the trigger back. So pull the trigger. All right, now hold it back. Now slowly let out. Yeah. Feel that difference? Yeah. That's how fast you wanna be back on that wall. Uh -huh. So when you break that shot, if you do it right and you're training, yeah. you're gonna have a couple ones. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. But that's okay because you're intended to shoot at this point in time and you're downrange. But yeah. that's what you want. During yeah. your magazine, you want a couple that, oh, that was, so, but right. you're at that. Yeah. If it's, imagine a five and you're a 4.9. Right. Well, and that, that's also just a part of be, becoming more familiar with new yeah. guns. And even an advanced shooter is gonna take a little while to, yeah. to really find where that yeah. reset is. They'll yeah. do it much quicker than myself. But yeah. I do think from the first rounds, I've been hitting the reset. As we've gone on, yeah. I'm already seeing the progress in which yep. how fast I'm shooting the reset. Oh, right here, we're gonna, see the reset. we're gonna see it right now. You know, so. cool, let's check it out. So this was one, two, three. This is your last. Okay. I will tell you, this is a better group than I thought. Oh, hell yeah, there. absolutely. I, I should, I, like, I don't know, maybe my eyes are bad too, but from back there, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. I was expecting this. I'd never expected it to be like that. I yeah. don't know what I did right. Slower I on the press. <laughs> yeah. Slower on the trigger press, uh, right? Letting the sight settle. You had to focus on the wobble. Yeah. Right? Right. Well, so. when we wrote this video, this was supposed to be like the prodigy was supposed to win so he could tell the audience at home, like, don't mm -hmm. buy the Atlas. But no. we might have it, to rewrite the ending to it, this saga. You know, <laughs> all right. Let's shoot mine and see what we can do here. Let's get into it. All right. Round three. Right hand only. Last two I threw. So last two... I was already on the trigger. As the gun was coming down, I shot too soon. So you're gonna see two just shy of 12 o'clock center. Yeah, I got you. So two things, this is where sometimes if you chase a zero in every single shot versus address your own skills. Mm -hmm. So I gave this four clicks up and our last break from this one. And so when I held dot center, you can see how high I am. And that's what got these two. If I wasn't dead center with the dot coming back down, you can see how I was pretty high right here. And these two were my last two. So, but again, we're pretty good here. So now if I come back down four clicks and we do the left-handed by chasing that zero, hopefully we'll be able to help me with my weaker left hand here. Yeah. But again, you know, not bad. That sucks. That sucks. But other than that. Yeah. Not a bad day. Yours is much, much tighter, much better. That's good. Um, it's the Atlas, yeah. not me. It, 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 it's, I think it's you. I think people too, like, people who don't have any bad habits, mm -hmm. you know, like new shooters, I think it's good when they take some type of uh, organized class, you hang out with a bunch of other guys who shoot. It's mm -hmm. so like you and I, when we come, I don't know if you do it, Jake and Chris, but when you come out here, we always take some time to shoot the guns or shoot a plate rack or shoot whatever. Mm -hmm. So that helps you get some reps in as well. It's true. Right. And we tweak a few of your things when we're together, mm -hmm. but those I think is benefiting you there. And then the, the advantage of a better built pistol is you're taking advantage of the performance that gun can provide. Yeah. So that's, that's the benefit. We're here, you know, and if we had more time in the day, we would flip flop guns, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we do this again. We'll do something else. Like do like, yeah. you know, um, 
So if there's just one comment that calls me either handsome or buff, I, I'll consider getting on the channel more often. Just gotta balance out the ugly, weird, quirky comments too, you know. I, I could see like woke. Woke. Um thin. Okay. Meager. Where where's the woke come from? Yeah, you are kind of you the hair, the vans, hat, the ray bands. Do you realize that like skateboarders you could be, are not woke? You are a borderline soy. An impossible burger. Not really though. Like skateboarders look from a distance woke, but once you get into it, it's all kind of like, they're not hippies. None of them are hippies. Yeah. There are so many skateboarders that are gun guys. What if I get in the pipe? I do like, what, what's that thing you guys do when you drop in? Drop what, in. Yeah, I could drop in. On, I could drop in on skateboard. Mm -hmm. You could do a... I could like a kick, kick flip. flip. He's got um, it. Or I could do like a rail slide. No. Or like, you know, uh, nope. a, a tail grab. Okay, that's, you know, a, that's a trick. You know, sure. I could do like sure. a, I could do like a, uh, what's that, a 360 McTwist, mm -hmm. you know? I've done I that mean, one before. All right, let's get back to guns. No more skateboard. All right, Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. Whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa. No. I'm, I know, I know, I'm working on it. We're figuring out our bearings before we pop off some rounds. Okay. Yo, there was like a brief second where the dot didn't wobble at all. I just got to do that the whole time and I'll be good to go. All right, all right, should we send it? I think we should send it. Let's get loud. You're going to take that same stance when you send it? I don't know about that one either, but I mean, I'm just saying. Do you want me to go this way? Is this way better? How do you skate? What? How do your feet on your skate? I'm right foot forward. You are? Yeah. Try to lift foot forward. That's that's regular. See, I'm goofy. Yeah. So now point the gun out in that stance. Does that feel better? I don't know, man. It's both about the same. Okay. Pick whichever one you want. Which one's right? I would probably say that one, but okay. your all right, choice. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna send it. Oh man. That one felt the best. Number 10 felt the best. Okay. That was a very, very good run for left-handed. For never having shot with my left hand, dude. Yep. Dude, I can barely eat with a fork with my left hand. If you would have stayed the cadence you started with, uh huh, and not had that speed up, I stacked like five. Mm hmm. And then I got, I started getting confident. Yeah. I got you. Sweet. So, but you started out great. This literally is. This was your first six rounds. I think it was. Okay. You had more than, I think you had more than 10 in there, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. yeah. You had a full magazine in there. So, but man, you started out phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And then it, this, the cadence picked up, but yeah, I'm not mad again, and this is a, phenomenal. This, know. even here, that's still, still legit. Out. Yeah. For left handed. Well, and as a beginner shooter, I am consciously picking which things I'm practicing. So mm -hmm. while the cadence did speed up and I widened that group a little bit, what yeah. I was practicing during that portion of that string of fire was shooting to reset. And I there was feeling the reset better. Yeah. So the first half, when I was more accurate with that smaller group, I did have that time where I would wait, get mm. the reset. And, and, you know, which is probably good. There's a time and a place for either speeding it up or being meticulous. But as long as you know what you're practicing on, and what part of, you know. No, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. it's there are two cool. flies having sex in your hat. Dude, that's sweet. I always wanted to be a part of an orgy. Ah, fuck. Righty. So, we shot quite a few more than 10. But for me, this is really good for me. I yeah. struggle significantly in the left handed. Um, pretty heavy trigger for the Prodigy. A much heavier gun, especially left handed. Uh, these two, I knew I just yanked the trigger. One of the things about shooting left handed when you're like I noticed you too is is finding that wobble zone, right? Mm -hmm. Finding that where you can break that shot. Yeah. So for me, I'm on this trigger 
And I can be on this trigger much longer because it's a Prodigy trigger. Yeah. I can be missing much longer than I normally would be. So again, that's a benefit of having that heavier trigger, but the gun is heavier. So that's maybe why my, but yeah. I think shooting left-handed, you're not trying to shoot these little tiny ass groups. Your focus is to be in the black. We were doing great till the very last two, but hey. Not bad. Not bad. You well, did I very well on yours. I would say today, if there had to be a winner, it'd be you. I got you, but that's so, just because I got deep pockets and six thousand five hundred dollars to spend on an atlas. You know, well, Josh does, but you know, <laughs> I, um, I, I thought that was the price. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> but my buddy Josh, who owns that gun, he has six of these things. Six atlases. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. So. Remember the Erebus we did? Yeah. That's Josh. Those Dang, are his well, guns. Thank you, Josh. I'm yeah. gonna be friends. Cool. Well, and guys, hopefully this has helped answer some of the question we posed earlier the, in the video. We are going to kind of loop around and talk about yeah. how everything went a little. Little bit later but before that jeff has to give you guys a little bit of a deep dive review on the atlas area mm -hmm. so we're going to go back and we're going to talk about some of the features who it's for and how it shoots for let's sure. go back to the studio atlas gun works this is the aries before we get into this pistol let me talk about what we do here at rdr we're a soft goods manufacturer specialized in plate carriers placards chest rigs a full line of canine gear and of course we're mostly known for nowadays is the safarian holster mods holster wraps and holster accessories and a safari and holster that fits this gun. All those products you can find on our website at rdrgear.com. You can DM me on Instagram. If you got my phone number, give me a call. Otherwise, we'll get what you need done via our website. So let's get to the Ares from Atlas Gunworks. Ares is a pistol from Atlas Gunworks. Atlas makes a wide variety of custom 2011 pistols, uh, mostly for the USPSA, uh, two gun, three gun type individual, but they also do make carry guns such as the Ares here. You know, this is my first time shooting the Ares. Uh, this is a phenomenal pistol. Recoil impulse is phenomenal in this gun. You don't even really feel a recoil. The gun does have a integrated comp, or I should say porting. So recoil impulse is super clean, super easy to shoot. Uh, very little muzzle rise in supported both hands and or strong or we can. This is a four and a quarter commander length model with the V porting in here. I would say of the four and a quarter inch pistol I've shot in my time of doing this channel, this is by far the best four and a quarter midsize commander length pistol I've shot. Trigger is normal, uh, nothing really to write home about. I do like the flat face trigger. Uh, it's a shorter trigger. I think uh, for these, they want it like three and a half, I think is what they come in at as weight wise. Um, if I compare this to say like the Nyx, this is heavy compared to that. But again, it is a carry gun. So I understand it being heavier than the traditional two, two and a half pound trigger. Features on the slide, these serrations, if you guys can see this in the video, they're kind of heavy and deep right up here and they get thinner as you get down to the bottom of the slide here, which makes super, it's just super easy to hang on to these things. If you can feel them, they're very deep and tactile on the chamfering of the tri-cut here. And then as they get to the bottom, they're very smooth there. So it makes press check super easy. Uh, tri-cut top end, I really like the fiber optic and how thin the rear plate is. This gun you could easily put RMR or SRO on, no problem. One of the features of two on this gun is the integrated the integrated port or compensator here, uh, porting more or less than compensator, but this is a super cool design, very basic in its concept, but man, is it make a huge difference on felt recoil of the pistol. Uh, you'll see the two holes here in the slide. They line up perfectly over the barrel and that is, and then when they run, they basically vent out in a V so therefore there's nothing in your actual peripheral of your red dot, but man, um, this makes a huge difference on how well this gun recoils because it is a significantly lighter than uh, its counterparts like the Nyx, for example. This grip module is different than others like the Athena and or the Nyx because this magazine and this frame, there's no magwell here. Um, the Nyx pistol, the Athena, etc., all have magwell options. Therefore, you can drop in the palm swells onto the grip module, the Ares, for example, you cannot due to the way the magazine fits in the frame of the pistol. There's no way to put the magwell here. And again, this is more of a carry gun, so I don't think you'd really want a magwell per se with where this gun is going in regards to styling, etc. So with the Ares gun, 
one of the things that some were gonna, some of you guys are gonna have maybe some kind of a gripe with. Maybe these are the MBX magazines, um, and they are 15 rounds, and that's all you get because of the way this gun is shaped, or the way the grip panels and the grip module is shaped. I personally don't think that's a problem. I think 15 rounds in a carry gun is plenty. Uh, some folks will want to want 17s, et cetera. One of the things if you guys don't know, if you look at the safety here on an Atlas gun, um, you'll see a much higher degree of angle on the safety. One of my favorite things about an Atlas gun, because you can see how much space you have in here and allows you to build that grip much easier than others. Most other 1911 or 2011 pistols, the down position right here that you see right there, that's the pretty much the up position for most brands. So as you come in here, it's a little snug to get that master grip, but with Aries or the Atlas guns in general, all of them, this higher position on the thumb really makes it easy to get that master grip and have room to drop that safety. So that is a super cool feature. And these you can buy and put them on other pistols if you have them at home. Um, the one thing on the frame that I dislike is if you'll see this, and you guys can see it, you kind of, you can't really see on this top angle, but you guys at home, I'll show you to this way. You'll see how this gap right through here, if you saw that, you heard it. So what happens when you set this gun down or whatever, and this could happen in a holster, unlikely for a right-handed handy, person, but a lefty could be an issue. The mag comes out. Um, so for a carry gun, I would say if they offer this in a shorter height in the mag release, get it in a shorter height, um, that's gonna be much easier. Right-handed person, appendix carry, probably not gonna be an issue. If you were inside a, inside a waistband holster or something four o'clock, that could be a potential of bumping that magazine in a car seat, office chair, whatever. So that's something to consider. Again, um, this is not every day's carry, every man's carry gun, but that is an issue that I would say is something to be aware of when you purchase a pistol. If I was buying this gun, the only thing I would change is getting this mag release much shorter. As you guys know, you can get uh, optics plate from Atlas when you buy your gun, as provided that they make a plate for the dots you wanna run. Um, I'm not for sure if there are limitations in regards to the major aim point loophole Trigicon. Um, I'm assuming there's probably gonna be some when you get outside the box into the hollow sun market. So again, to call those guys and find out what you're gonna run for uh, red dot and they have a plate of course it does not come with an irons plate um, to my knowledge uh, so that's not it you know but you're buying this gun to run it with red dot anyway light accessory rail you can run x300 tr7s any of the major white light brands out there whichever one you choose to run but um extra in a b model if you're going to run a 2011 platform it is beneficial to you as the end user to run a b model for the x300s um, you can run the ultra the turbo doesn't matter which, or the vamp light, either or. Holster-wise, it has a wide compatibility option. Anything Kydex fits, 2011 option, with the light or without. Safari so Land does fit this. The Staccato 4.1 holster fits it perfectly. Um, the reason that is, is because the safeties are standard width, right? Um, you don't have, and you guys will see a video on the, uh, the NYX coming up soon, and the safeties are too wide to allow them to work with the AOS nub and they don't fit the width. They're too wide to fit the mouth of the holster. So therefore, when you look at the Ares, for example, it is a traditional gun in sense in regards to the width of the safeties, et cetera. So today you guys saw Christian and I at the range. Christian shooting the Ares and me shooting a Prodigy. Christian being the new shooter, me being the intermediate shooter. If Christian had $6,000 that, hey, how should I spend this? In my opinion, it's not here. I think you can take that 6,000 bucks and get a Quantico, a Alchemy, uh, or Alchemy Quantico, you could get a, even a Staccato if you wanted to go that route. There are other guns you could buy to leave you money in your wallet to get magazines, ammo, and training. Does this pistol help the new shooter? Absolutely. It, the performance, trigger, sights, everything about this gun does give an advantage. But at the end of the day, I'll be honest, Christian has a good baseline of skills because he's not been tainted by other influences in regards to shooting. His shooting is raw skill. Now he can expand on that. Me shooting the Prodigy, my skill set, it wasn't far off. 
what we filmed at the end of the day before you guys didn't see it on camera was me just putting a mag of this gun through one of the little numbers on the target. And there were five to six rounds literally in probably a quarter and the rest of them were a little bit outside that quarter. But again, there's this is going to enhance an advanced shooter skill set significantly. The new shooter may not be benefited by spending all their money on the fancy gun. If you like the content on the channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. That will show your YouTube algorithm to show you more content like RDR's page and others like it. We appreciate you guys' support. We're trying to grow those numbers to get that 25 or what, 2300 and change up to 30,000 by the end of the year. That's our goal. So if you do like what we do and you appreciate the effort and the content, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Be well. Take care.